Welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Thursday, January 2nd, 2013. Happy New Year and congratulations on making it through the darkest part of the year, at least as far as the sun goes, and on into the new year. This morning uh, I have a recap of the video on YouTube of Alex Jones's show on Tuesday. Alex had Steve Quayle as a guest and it really was just a remarkable interview. And I believe that this is the video link for the whole show, but I, I think the Steve Quayle interview starts about an hour and a half, two hours from the end. It, uh, it was remarkable, very much worth listening to, and I will probably listen to it again. And the main push, the, the main focus of both of these men, Alex and Steve Quayle, uh, of course they were talking about what's going on, the evil plan, so on and so forth, but their emphasis was the fact that God also has a plan, that we are in a struggle of good versus evil, and that uh, in order to triumph in the struggle, we must rely on God and He is our champion and He is the one who determines the future and the one who tips the scales uh, on behalf of liberty and justice, especially when we cry out to Him in prayer and get wisdom from Him as to how to proceed both in our lives personally and how to get the message of liberty out there to more people so that more people understand what's going on and have the ability to respond with wisdom. And in light of that, in light of having a relationship with God, I came across this interesting website and I, I found it through Ian Clayton who has a website, sonofthunder.org. I think he's a, a guy from Down Under who's just a tremendous preacher and has a relationship with God that permits him to visit heaven and see the past and the future. And uh, he's just a really interesting seeker. But his website refers to this website, Mechanical Translation of the Hebrew Bible. If you are a person who has trouble with believing the Bible, you reject different translations, it's been twisted, it's been changed by man, well, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls and, and other uh, papers have affirmed the validity of many of the, the original scriptures. Uh, if you have issues with translation, this might be a way, other than learning Hebrew, to overcome that to some extent and find out what the Bible really says if you don't like the translations that are out there, if you don't have confidence in them or doubt them. And if you're interested, there, there's a free ebook here. I'm certainly not advocating that you spend money on this. I find it really interesting, and I haven't looked into it a whole lot yet, but I do plan to download this free ebook and check it out. This is uh, just the book of Genesis, and this is the mechanical translation of the book of Genesis. There are a lot of good people out there who are helping, serving to make God through his word more accessible and also just encouraging to actually have an active relationship with God as Steve Quayle was encouraging and of course as Alex Jones always encourages and Ian Clayton is certainly one of them, Fritz Springmeier is another there are just some really wonderful resources that we have available to us to uh, press in and have a closer walk with Creator, which gives us greater understanding, greater wisdom, and greater ability to resist evil and tyranny. 
I have not checked this out yet. Uh, Gilgal's Bible Wheel dot blogspot dot ca for Canada. I happened to see this in a tweet and I thought I would check it out. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody posted this on Fritz Springmeyer's Facebook page. That's where I saw it. And I've only just visited this first page. I'm certainly not endorsing this. Uh, but if, if you're curious, it might be something interesting to check out. And this particular blog entry uh, compares Revelation 13, Matthew 13, and Romans 13. So, and of course, Romans 13 is the scripture that's often used to tell Christians that we need to submit to worldly authority, to the government, and uh, that <laughs> might happen to be tyrannical. And I was thinking that this, this might lend a little bit of light to that subject that's sometimes a little dark. And of course, there are other people who have spoken with great wisdom about Romans 13 and uh, chief among them is probably Chuck Baldwin. And from Mario Murillo Ministries, and, and Mario Murillo is, a, he's been in the ministry for quite some time. He's pretty well known. He's been around Christian circles. He's He considers himself an evangelist. Uh, among the more traditional main mainline mainstream Christian leaders, uh, and, and uh, they're not. I'm not even talking about like mainstream mainstream like Billy Graham. I'm talking more about um, you know the charismatic branch. Mario Murillo is waking up and pointing out the injustices in our culture and our country and the departure from the Constitution, probably more than just about any well-known ministry that I'm aware of that's, you know, from, that comes out of a place that people who've been in the charismatic movement for a while are aware of. And uh, Mario, in this blog entry, has an article about Open Bathrooms and California's War on Kids, a daddy's perspective. And this is just more information, more emphasis on uh, we are, they are trying to take away the innocence of our children. And we may not think of ourselves as, as having innocence, but you know, to some extent, even uh, the adults among us, some of us maybe feel like we're pretty jaded, we've seen everything. There's still a constant affront to our innocence if we are plugged into, uh, you know, mainstream culture at all, even Hollywood movies. It's difficult to find a new movie that doesn't have a gay person. And I, I have nothing against gay people, and I, I have friends who are gay. It's, it's not about hate. It's about trying to transform our culture by constantly putting things it right in front of us. And what's what's happened in California with this open bathrooms is even more more of a personal affront to innocence and of children. Imagine some of the things that kids go through in an adolescence that being subjected to other the other sex in bathrooms in ways that you know I don't think I even need to say how uncomfortable that could be for people and again innocence is being stolen and I, I think that to me is is one of the most significant aspects of this if people want to privately live a certain way uh, as long as they do no harm I I'm not going after them but they seem to be going after us, demanding that we accept their lifestyle. And my big question always is, and I've asked this question of gay people, if you are so completely convinced that your lifestyle is right, 
why do you not just go live it instead of insisting on my approval? I did not listen to Alex's show yesterday, but I was told that a caller who called at the end of the show was just a remarkable woman whose daughter has been, uh, the CPS has threatened to take her seven-year-old daughter away. And there's some great information here. And she is an intelligent woman, and she has some understanding of how to fight the system. And this is, it takes about a half hour to listen to this, but well worth the time, in my opinion. Why modern medicine must be able to kill you. And this lady was training to be a, a doctor, and she changed her mind when she learned about how uh, prescription drugs are approved. And in order to uh, be approved, there has to be a point where the substance causes death. And uh, this is only 10 minutes long. Again, something else that is well worth taking time to listen to. And I found this interesting this morning from Yahoo Sports. Not, not my typical uh, news website that I often visit, but I saw, noticed this on Drudge. NFL should be alarmed that three of four playoff games, including Green Bay's home games, still not sold out. So people are evidently not uh, going to football games. Now, there probably are a lot of reasons. I almost have this is my good news. Sorry to all you football fans out there. Um, but, it, you know, there may be reasons that, that aren't good news having to do with people being subjected to uh, search of you know, TSA issues. Can I look in your handbag, ma'am? Um, it, it may have something to do with that. And uh, the, just the fact that people are not going out living real life as much. Now, that to me is not good news when we just feel uh, secure in our homes and we want to stay at home and watch TV and, and uh, read a book, whatever. I, I don't see that as a positive trend because I think we'll all become more isolated and uh, stuck in our own little dream worlds. And, and I think that we need to interface with other people in order to be emotionally and psychologically healthy. I think it's good to be out and about. So in one, in one regard, I'm sad that people aren't, you know, buying these tickets and going to the games. On the other hand, of course, it, could it be due or partly due to the Alex Jones call for a boycott on the NFL because they banned the Second Amendment the, it was, wasn't even, didn't mention the Second Amendment, but it's just a firearms commercial from advertising in the Super Bowl. And this is from the website BizPack Review. NFL unbelievably bans this ad from Super Bowl. And if you haven't seen it before, the actual uh, Daniel Defense commercial that was banned is on this website. And you can view it here. And People may well be boycotting the NFL because this commercial was banned. I can't rule that out. And if that's the case, I do see that as a positive development for our culture and our society. That's, you know, voting with your dollars. When the NFL behaves a certain way, you don't agree with that behavior, vote with your dollars. Don't buy the tickets. Don't don't tune in. Don't promote the sponsors. Don't buy things from the sponsors. Pretty simple, really. And natural news, as always, can be relied upon for some good news. Slash your risk of stroke by 42% with vitamin C. And of course, at this time of year, vitamin C is very helpful in fighting all kinds of health issues, 
So good time of the year to become more aware of the benefits of vitamin C and start to take advantage of some of those benefits. So with that, thank you for tuning in for today's 99th Monkey Liberty News. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, hoping that 2014 will be for you a year of rich blessing and true success. Also hoping that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty.